Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews TV, here at the Hard Rock Hotel alongside Danny Lozon, taking on a tough John Gunderson here this Friday night live NBC Sports Network. Big fight for you, and you've had about a year and a half layoff actually leading up to this one. So, uh, how prepared are you, and how have you, I guess, kept prepared with alongside your brother there on the East Coast? Uh, I'm very prepared for this fight. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm happy to be with the World Series of Fighting. Um, my brother Joe has helped me out a lot for this fight, sparring and, uh, you know, just jujitsu. You know, I figure the fight's probably going to hit the ground at some point. Um, but uh, I'm very well prepared for this fight and, uh, you know, I can't wait. Can't wait till Friday and uh, go out there and get a win. Both of you guys do have a lot of experience, of course. Where do you see your biggest advantages lying, though, against Gunderson? Um, I don't really know that there's any clear advantage anywhere. You know, he's, uh, he's pretty well rounded. He's had a lot of fights. Um, I, I'm just hoping that, you know, my, my, uh, my aggression will, will pull me through this fight. And, um, you know, I think if, uh, if I hit him and, and I hurt him, I, I have no doubt that I'll be able to finish him. Where do you feel like you fit in this division? I mean, do you feel like a win here will vault you into that title contention? Obviously, they don't have a belt set up yet, but it seems to be something that will be coming, happening very soon. Um, truthfully, I haven't even thought about that. You know, I've just been uh, thinking about the fight with Gunnarsson. You know, that's the first step. And, uh, you know, I haven't even thought about titles or, or anything else, really. Um, you know, I'm not looking past Gunnarsson at all, and that, that's all I've been thinking about. Mm -hmm. Talk about your growth in martial arts, you know, starting as a young man and, and getting up to this point. Uh, well, you know, I started early at, uh, you know, I was about 13 or 14. I started doing jiu-jitsu, started fighting, you know, day after I turned 18. And I've just been trying to get better and better every day. Um, you know, I had a lot of success success when I was younger, you know, 18, fighting in the UFC. And um, I don't know, I just kind of got, got kind of caught up in uh, being, you know, 18, 19, 20-year-old kid, you know, going out partying a little bit too much, um, hanging out with friends. But uh, I've just, you know, I've rededicated myself and uh, I got myself refocused. And, um, you know, I'm 25 now, you know, uh, I don't really have much time to screw around. I don't have any time to screw around, um, you know, so I'm just trying to stay as focused and as motivated as possible every day and uh, just get better every day. It's kind of a blessing and a curse to get to such a high level so quickly. I mean, what was the hardest part and the best part, I guess, about going through that? Um, I mean, the best part, you know, was definitely being able to fight in the UFC at 18 years old. You know, even though, even though I lost, it, you know, it still to me felt like a win just to be able to be on that stage at 18. Um, you know, so it's definitely been a blessing and a curse. Um, but you know, I, I really I wouldn't change anything. And uh, you know, right now at 25, I think I'm I'm right where I should be. You know. Uh, at this point in the game and uh, you know everything that I've been through and, and whatnot but uh, you know I'm focused and I'm ready. Year and a half layoff what new tricks are can we expect to see if anything here in the, in the cage on Friday? Um, I don't know I'll be a different fighter than I was in my last fight I'm definitely a different fighter than I was a few years ago and uh, you know it's gonna be exciting. Talk about having your brother's support. I mean, I know, you know, getting to see him fight and, and take these guys out at the highest level is something that gives you confidence, I'm sure, as you go with him day in, day out. Uh, yeah, definitely. It gives me confidence. Uh, you know, like I said, he helped me out a lot for this fight to uh, get me prepared for it. Um, you know, he'll be in my corner, which, uh, you know, I'm thankful for. You know, that's really good. And, uh, you know, it's he just makes me better every day. And uh, he's definitely gotten me ready for this fight. And, uh, you know, I just want to go out there Friday night. And, uh, you know, me and Joe pride ourselves on, on finishing guys. And, you know, I plan to go out there Friday night and, and finish them. And anything short of that, I, you know, I won't be satisfied. So Cool. Anything else you'd like to say? No, not really. Uh, I just look forward to Friday night. And thank you. Definitely appreciate the time. This man, Danny Lozon, be sure to check him out. The fight will be definite fireworks against John Gunderson. World Series of Fighting 3 on the NBC Sports Network.